One more time. Lord Poseidon. I have to tell you something, little Hades. My relatives and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours. So call me if you need anything, especially to smash your enemies to bits. Oh, what's this? The wrath of Poseidon at my beck and call. since last we met, my kid. And that means you have dealt incalculable death. I must commend you thus. So all I need to do is sacrifice some of my life essence to go in here. Oh, I don't see why not. Who or what is that? The deepest reaches of the underworld. The void from which all life and consciousness sprang forth during the dawn of time. The realm of chaos. A land almost unseen even to denizens of death's kingdom. Could you keep it down? This is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades... Um, hello. May I ask who's calling? Did you not agree? Um, have we met? Oh, we have met in a way. I know everybody here and there. You wish to leave this place, and it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. And if you encounter the Olympians someday, do give them my regards. to extract the benefits a few chambers from now. Master Chaos has evolved.
you little ladies. I can tell even from here that you've been beaten like a skiff during a storm. Let's make some waves. Damned lost souls with nowhere left to turn congregate in deepest Tartarus, where they fuse together with the Earth itself into odious forms which defy description. They basically turn into big crystals. Remain exactly where you are. Copy. Just then. Perhaps you knew that you were making a mistake. No matter, you'll learn now. Ares, forgive me. to forgiveness for the time. Thus shall we call a truce. Charon's shop. Charon, mate. 
Now, hypothetically, if I provided you with, say, a thousand coins, would you be willing to give me a ride in your beautiful boat? Upriver, I should say, specifically. I had to ask. Should come in useful. Hello, Meg. <laughs> I heard what happened. You crossed the river of flame. You really did it. That Hydra was a total bastard, though. Bastards. But you sound practically impressed with me there, Meg. I feel so flattered. You'll soon feel something else. I don't know how you did it, but it changes nothing. some sort of power, but for what? My keepsake collection, just what the house contractor ordered. Might help. than those in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. I barred where I please. Let's go up. Done. Love that sulfur smell. Within the suffocating heat of Asphodel reside the vast majority of those who lived upon the earth and died. There they persist until the end of time. Or until I crush their bones to dust. is set.
I should not be the supervisor here. Now to collect. The perfect gift. Searing flame and ashes of the river Phlegathon mean nothing to the ferryman Charon, who travels all the waters of the underworld bearing the dead, the damned, and all their fineries. I do enjoy dead people's fineries. Here's the fee. Slam dancers. for you should make your battles to the death end that much quicker. And here we go.
Having traversed the flaming river Phlegathon to gain this vantage point, Relentless Sagrius must now confront a foe of unimaginable savagery who lies ahead, awaiting patiently its time to strike. Way to spoil the surprise, old man. I will keep coming back, just like your stupid heads. Dusa, how's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. To suffer such indignity for my own kin. The sealed weapons by your chambers. Your father won't observe their absence, I don't think. They remind him of a time he stood together with his brothers and sisters. He wants nothing more to do with any of that. I think it's fitting you've inherited their power. The power that once sealed away the Titans. Maybe it's a power that can break me out of here. Thank you for helping me, Achilles. Blood and darkness, but this place is falling apart. Nobody works an honest day down here. Father, everybody's dead. Give them a break. What would you even know of honest work? At least the wretched dead yet honor me as lord. I cannot say the same for you. Maybe you'll have something more affordable next time. My child, you have met most of your Olympian relatives by now, child. Although the power of their blessings is fleeting here, they shall continue to support you as long as necessary. They all still think I'm headed to join them on Olympus. That's why they're helping me. 
They are helping you because you are family. Family with whom they do not yet have a complicated past. It's getting complicated pretty fast. Hey, uh, what's that you're drinking, Meg? Anything good? Whatever it is, it's weak. Enough to be mistaken for your blood. Nice. Well, I'll just leave you to it then. Leave me alone. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. Thank you for waiting. Give me the best deal you've got. Achilles in the spotlight. I want to go lie down. Darkness is power. Feeling good. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the Prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his Lord Father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. Then, there is the note, written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place, so I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But... But Father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. 
It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Hey, yeah, uh, something back there for you, pal. Hey, Skelly, you look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. You'll figure something out. Another weapon. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly, in contrast to the terrifying sprawl that lies beyond. It's not that orderly, really. Let's go, Koronokt. Which one? 